Welcome to episode 14 on Robert Greene's insightful book, The Laws of Human Nature. Today, we'll delve into the significance of understanding people's true character. It's incredibly important to know what people are really like inside, beyond the facade they often present. This episode will explore how individuals may hide their less desirable qualities and put forth only their best side, making it a challenge to discern their true nature. The story of Howard Hughes shows why it's so important to look beyond what people show on the outside. Hughes was a famous businessman and movie maker in the 1900s. Many people thought he was amazing. They saw him as a brave, smart man who built big companies and flew airplanes. But when you look closer at his life, you see he had a lot of problems. Hughes had a hard time working with other people. He always wanted to control everything himself. This caused a lot of trouble in his businesses. For example, when he made the movie Hell's Angels in 1930, he fired the director and took over himself. He kept changing things and redoing scenes, which made the movie take three years to finish and cost way too much money. Even though the movie was popular, it lost about $2 million because of how much it cost to make. When Hughes tried to build airplanes for the military during World War II, he ran into similar problems. He got a big contract to build transport planes called the Hercules. But he couldn't finish them on time because he kept interfering with the work and wouldn't let other people do their jobs. He hired managers to help, but then he wouldn't let them make decisions. By the end of the war, he hadn't delivered a single plane as promised. Why was Hughes like this? A lot of it came from his childhood. His mother was very protective and worried about him all the time. His father expected him to be very successful. This made Hughes feel anxious and want to control everything when he grew up. Even though he seemed confident on the outside, inside he was often scared and unsure. So, how can we learn to see people's true character? Here are some things to look for using Hughes as an example. 1. Watch how people act over time, not just once or twice. Do they keep making the same mistakes? Example. Hughes repeatedly micromanaged his projects, from movies to airplanes, always with the same bad results. 2. See how they handle tough situations. Do they give up easily or keep trying? Example. When Hughes faced problems or criticism, he often disappeared or claimed to be sick instead of facing the issues. 3. Look at how they work with others. Can they share control and listen to other people's ideas? Example. Hughes couldn't delegate authority. He always undermined his managers and insisted on controlling every detail himself. 4. Notice if they learn from their mistakes or keep doing the same wrong things. Example. Despite losing money and failing to deliver on contracts, Hughes never changed his management style. 5. Don't just believe what's said about someone. Look at what they actually do and how they treat people. Example. Hughes had a reputation as a brilliant businessman, but most of his personal projects lost money. The profitable parts of his company were run by others. When trying to understand someone's character, don't focus too much on how charming or friendly they seem, how smart they are, how famous they are, what job they have instead, pay attention to, how honest they are, if they admit when they're wrong, how they treat people who can't help them, if they keep their promises, how they handle tough times, if they blame others for their problems, if they can wait for what they want instead of always wanting things right away, if they're open to hearing different ideas, good character traits to look for. Always telling the truth, being kind to others, staying calm when things go wrong, taking responsibility for their actions, listening to others' opinions, being patient, helping others without expecting anything back. Bad character traits to watch out for. Lying, even about small things. Being mean to people they think are less important. Getting angry easily always wanting praise from others, not being able to keep friends for a long time, breaking promises. Only thinking about themselves, Hughes showed many of these bad traits. For example, he often made promises he couldn't keep, like when he told the military he could build planes quickly and cheaply. 
He treated people as disposable, firing them whenever they disagreed with him. He also couldn't maintain long-term relationships, either in business or his personal life. It takes practice to get good at seeing people's true character, but it's worth it because the people we choose to be around can change our lives. If we pick good people to be our friends, partners, or bosses, they can help us grow and be happy. But if we choose people with bad character, they can cause us a lot of problems. Here are some ways to practice seeing people's true character. 1. Pay attention to how people treat others, especially those who can't do anything for them. This shows their real level of kindness and respect. Example. Hughes often treated his employees poorly, especially those in lower positions. 2. Listen to how people talk about others when they're not around. Do they gossip or say mean things? This can show if they're trustworthy. 3. Watch how people handle small, everyday problems. Do they get upset easily or stay calm? This can show how they might handle bigger issues. Example. Hughes often became obsessive over small details, like the exact shade of color in a movie scene. 4. Notice if people take responsibility for their mistakes or always blame others. This shows their level of maturity and honesty. Example. When Hughes' projects failed, he often blamed others or external circumstances instead of his own poor management. 5. See if people follow through on what they say they'll do, even in small things. This shows their reliability. Example. Hughes often made grand promises about his projects, but rarely delivered on time or within budget. Remember, everyone has some good and bad qualities. The goal isn't to find perfect people, but to understand people's overall character. This helps us make better choices about who to trust, work with, or have close relationships with. Learning to see people's true character takes time and practice. But as we get better at it, we can build stronger, healthier relationships. We can also avoid people who might hurt us or hold us back. This skill helps us create a better life for ourselves and those around us. In the end, understanding character is about looking beyond the surface and seeing the patterns in how people think, feel, and act over time. By doing this, we can make wiser choices about who we let into our lives and how we interact with them. Howard Hughes's story shows us how important it is to look beyond fame, wealth, and charisma to see a person's true character. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you found something relatable, share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments section below. Your insights could help someone else learn from them. Now something important. Make it a habit to learn something beneficial every day. Remember, the content you consume is like food for your brain. Be intentional about it, because otherwise, the algorithm is designed to manipulate your thoughts. Think about it. We're always accepting your contributions through subscriptions to our channel. Your support will help us with upcoming projects and ensure we continue delivering top-notch content. Join us by subscribing today.